Okay, so this is a quick overview of how to generate a video file from your animation. Once you've programmed your animation, we have an example here. Uh, I've got my blank canvas by deleting everything that I had before. I add a shape, adding a donut this time, and I want this donut to rotate over 60 frames. So I set some keyframes for it to rotate. I add a light because uh, I want to light up my donut in an interesting way. I, and then I add my camera uh, to point at the donut. And then just as a note, I've changed the background color to be this nice dark blue color here. Okay, cool. So uh, I'll hit play. We'll generate our scene. And if I do render image, you'll see my donut is lit up and my camera's pointing in the right direction. So that's good. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna do render, render animation. Now it's going to render uh, this animation over those keyframes, even though I just put keyframe one and keyframe 60, right? Um, Blender is going to interpolate in between those for us and figure out that the donut needs to turn in order to get that rotation. So we'll let this render for 60 frames because we set our frames from one to 60. And what we'll notice is we keep going past 60 frames. Our donut's not turning anymore because I only animated it up to frame 60, uh, but we keep counting up. So let's let's cancel this uh, and let's take a look at what's going on. So if we go to um, output properties on this little sidebar here, it's a third one down. See, we our frame range here is from one to 250. So we went a little too far. Uh, we didn't want to go that far, but let's take a look at what came out anyway. So we'll do view animation. This will take a second to load. We talked about in class. Uh, and then I see this other animation here. What's going on? We, this is not what we programmed. Well, this is the animation that we had from last time. The, our previous project, we had rendered an animation. So we'll see our initial animation. And then we see our previous animation. So we need to somehow fix this. Um, so what's happening here is that our output directory for all these uh, images that we generate for the animation uh, has some of the old stuff and some of the new stuff. So we're gonna wanna change this uh, output directory. So uh, I'm going to click here and I'm gonna say, actually, I want you to put this stuff inside of videos. Um, uh, I have this folder blender animations that's empty, so we'll use that one. So I'll hit accept, and now it says output is to blender animations. Okay, great. So now let's try this again. Now we're going to render our animation. Actually, while we're at it, let's change our end frame to 60. What happens here? So we're going to do this render animation. Uh, and the same thing's happening before. We set our keyframes, we're doing our rotation, we're stepping through the frame count up here. I get this nice lighting on donut, dark blue background, so the where the location of the light is a little bit above, three above, and one to the side. Get a cool angle. I turned up the energy for the brighter light. Um, and you can see we stopped at frame 60 here. So great, that's what we were looking for. Uh, now let's go back to render and view our animation. Uh, it'll take a second to load. There we go, we've got a nice turning donut. That's pretty satisfying. Okay, cool. So now the next thing we need to do is say, okay, we've got this animation inside Blender. How do we get it out of this into a video file? So there's lots of ways to do this, but I'm going to show you a way that's uh, nice. We're just going to go uh, file. We're going to save our file that we've been working on. Save any changes that we've made, because um, that's always good to do. And then we're going to do new. File, new, and video editing. So you actually could do this within the same project, but it's kind of nice to just do it in a new space We're going to do new video editing uh, and we'll pull up this screen uh, and so now what we need to do is add in all of our files so we're going to click here we're going to click add we want to add a sequence of images we'll click on image sequence now what we need to do is go into here and find where we saved all those um, uh, 
uh, our animation. So we just set that folder. It was in videos and blender animations. Uh, and now this is a little tricky. We're going to hit A, select everything, uh, and hit add image strip. So it's not control A or command A, just A. Just select all the files. We should see 60 of these. Yep, 60 frames. Starting at frame 1. Okay, we'll add our image strip. Hit play to test what this looks like. Great, there's our donut spinning. Um, and then it keeps going. So that's that's not that's close, but not quite what we wanted. We need to adjust the frame range again. Here we want 60 frames. Uh, and we can also set the frame rate. So I'm actually going to set the frame rate. I want this to be a one second clip. Um, so I'm going to set 60 frames per second. Um, and uh, should now see a nice 60 frames per second video. Now this is in the preview mode, so you'll see that we're not quite getting 60 frames a second in our preview, but we will get it when we render. Okay, so we've got the animation we're looking for. It's the right length. Now we do render, and this is a bit of poor wording, but we're going to render animation. We've already rendered the animation uh, as a sequence of uh, images. Now we need to render those images that we've already created into a um, uh, a video and actually uh, we should just check here our output directory is going to we want to put this somewhere that makes sense so instead of this temp directory um, I'm just gonna put it in my videos except and I will render my animation um, now it's not recreating these frames from scratch so it's going a little bit faster because the images were already rendered we're just stitching them together now in a video format cool there's our donut spinning so we're, we're good with that let's go back to our file explorer and if we go to our videos folder you should see here we go Ooh, there we go nice and so this is now a mp4 that you can upload youtube or wherever you want to upload it.